Magenta and ClearSnap are two companies that offer a large number of rubber stamp designs and accessories for creating unique techniques and dazzling color. This video will introduce you to the basic and most popular techniques being used today. Magenta has created a stamp line that varies from simple lines to intricate images. This allows us to reach a wider range of stampers and styles, adapting many existing techniques and even some techniques invented by Magenta. There are two main categories of inks. Pigment inks, as found in color box, and fast drying dye inks such as Vivid. Whichever ink is chosen, the basic inking technique is the same. The fast drying dye inks are available in many different shapes and colors. They are generally water-based. Their main feature is that they dry quickly, even on glossy paper. For some of our stamps, it is better to use a mask to protect some of the stamp surface. Masking is a very useful technique. The basic idea is simple. First, stamp your chosen design, which will always appear as if in front of all the other printed designs, on your cardstock and cover it with the same design that you had previously stamped and cut on a thin piece of paper. A thick piece of paper will leave a highlight around your main image. Remember to cut closely around the outline and use a repositionable glue stick so the mask can be used again and again. Once masked, it is possible to stamp as many designs as desired as long as each stamp image has a mask. This technique makes it possible to repeat images in a precise fashion without losing any details. Any image that can be cut and made into a mask can become a wreath. Even very geometrical designs can be made. Nathalie will show a very elegant project that is based on the use of masking. First, stamp the flower in cold ancient page and let dry. Repeat on a thin piece of paper. This will be the mask. Make sure that it is cut on the outline to prevent unwanted highlights. Place on the stamp flower. Add color to the background with the DTP technique using aqua pigment ink. Mask the middle of the card with a thin piece of paper and add alpine pigment ink on the edges. Stamp the small design using midnight pigment ink. and remove the middle mask. Add a second image on the edges, this time using teal pigment ink. Remove the flower mask and make a stencil by cutting the stamped flower with a craft knife. Place around the stamped flower and add color with sunflower, marigold, and orange cat's eyes. Remove the stencil and mask once again the flower. Place the same stencil just a bit off to create a shadow effect. Carefully add moss green and evergreen pigment inks. The piece is now finished.